velocity we're just going to set to zero for now all these to zero um, zero just just to keep everything you know so it's not doing anything extra and life we'll leave at three for now uh, particle type we're going to go to sprite and under texture our layer is going to be the outline color and don't worry about the warning this is why this is where I say um, in the other tutorial use a lower res version of this which you can definitely do for this too um, I'm just using a high res because you're if you that's why I told you to watch the other tutorial because it'll tell you how to get the lower res version first and you can use this in the same product do everything exactly the same but I'm saving a step just because of the tutorial and if, that, if you watch the other one you know to bring in the lower res if you want to um, I'm just using a higher res but yes if you have a lower resolution try that one if it works out for you great if you don't like the quality then go ahead and use the full res it'll be slower but you can still use it either way um, so we got the full ver full res version in there outline color now the other important feature is to change your time sampling to current frame freeze that's really important to make sure you change that alright so that's pretty much it there now what we'll do is we got that set and that's all set we'll go to normal alright now our particle size this is important for uh, look under position just going through everything make sure I have everything um, position will be right here this is the size you need to make our particle size whatever size you see here depending on your resolution of project you're working on um, if you bring in a low res version of your outline uh, you'll have to work on a, on a of course a low res comp um, you'll have to change that number down here so mine says 640 because I'm working in full res size uh, you'll have to change the size to 640 and that'll bring your outline up all right so let's leave that now as you can see this is how we want the outline to work just like that all right now we can take our solid right see how our outlines coming over pretty much overlaying our character we don't really want that uh, the other outlines to show so what we can do is we can bring our solid color one above there and turn that on and this way it kind of cuts off the outline over the front there so alright so it just helps uh, it helps pretty much hide the outline because you know we want sometimes we want the outline to show over us but not that much alright so that's what we can use the solid color one for just to help out in that alright so now as you can see we chose freeze because we don't want it's better to have you know this is what this right here is showing past okay this is the past and this is what his position was in that particular past so we want it needs to be stay that way right so whatever his position was at that particular moment is frozen in time like that all right so now what we can do is to make this flow so it gives it that flowing look you know like it's like air kind of just you know going backwards or whatever um, we can go to back to our particles and we can give it some speed or velocity and I'm not sure we gotta figure out what direction to go in here not that way it'll be this way alright let's let's turn this up to like 10 or uh, yeah, I guess 10. And I'm going to change my rotation. Rotation, I guess, to 90. All right, this is where it gets a little confusing. All right, I just changed it to 90. Okay, depending on the direction, I can't tell you what way to do this, but you have to work on this Y rotation and the velocity. You have to animate these over time depending on the... Uh, direction your character's running that so there's no way I can tell you which way to do this if your character's running this way one at one point you have to animate your velocity back and forth to 
correctly go for it. See, right now I have it wrong in the wrong direction. I changed the Y to rotation to 90. That's usually the best way to start off, just to set that to 90. But I need to set this so this stuff flows backwards. So I'm going to change my velocity to the minus 10. Now it should flow backwards there. See, so it's flowing backwards. Now he kind of changes direction, so the other stuff has to get changed and go the other way. All right, so we can't have it set that way. So let's see, we'll stop him, like, I guess here. And I'm going to expand this just so we can see our keyframes when we do it for this. Particular, emitter, and we have to find the speed, or our velocity one right here. All right, so we're going to start off, we're going to create a keyframe here, because we already know that direction's right. Right when he gets to that other point, we have to change direction. So let's go to 10. Now you can see, see the from here to here, the stuff's going backwards. And now when he turns the corner, you want the flow to go, this flow to go this way. So all, that's all I did. And now you can see the back, the back uh, outlines are still flowing in the direction we started with. And then these new ones, since he changed direction, we want them to flow backwards, are flowing the other way. So, you know, and then it, it even makes it look more 3D-like just from doing that. It look, makes it look like these are in the background now because these are moving in a different direction than these, these front outlines, which is pretty cool. You know, it just definitely gives it a much uh, neater look, and it just it definitely helps it look 3D, especially, you know, depending on your scene, this scene, I ch particularly made him go change directions because just to show you, if you set up your scene right, you know, you can get really take advantage of what this effect can do. And just because he changes direction like that, it just makes it look more 3D just because the uh, outlines are flowing in different directions. All right, so, you know, don't go with too high of a speed. I mean, if the dude was uh, standing still or running in slow motion, because sometimes I find it, it's better. This guy's running kind of fast. It's better to kind of shoot your scene for a situation like this and pretend like you're running in slow motion. You know, don't run like a stupid slow motion. Run in a slow, you know, kind of a, you know, just a fake slow motion for the camera, but make it look like you're running, you know, normal speed. Because um, this way, when you go to, you can get a better slow motion effect also. Uh, when you go to slow it down, you'll get better results when you time slow it down uh, in After Effects, and it'll look even slower. So, you know, it's much better to run in slow motion, um, and these particles will even look better uh, if you run in slow motion. And, of course, if you're running in slow motion, you'll probably have to go at a higher velocity than I did, uh, minus 10, you know, you may want to go 20, even 30. It depends. Or if you're in front of a green screen, not even running at all or doing like a super flight thing like I did um, you would ju you wouldn't even do that you would just go ahead and uh, crank this sucker up and because he would be stationary and the things would just flow outward and I'll show I'll try to show you that I'll bring in like the super flight thing and show you that or a guy stationary and I'll show you that just as a test all right so now we got our outline created there you know which looks all cool you can go ahead from here you can go ahead, maybe change the spread a little bit if you want. You know, just to kind of, it kind of helps ruffle it up a little bit. Don't add too much spread. You know, some will go in different directions than others. Maybe try 20. You know, so they're not completely smooth. This way you'll get a little, you know, you'll get a little bit of a, a change up and everything. So you can try that for your scene, see if that works out. You can add more particles and go with you know a more thicker run trail like that you know which gives it a cool look it will be slower don't forget the more particles you add the slower things are going to get let me crank it a sound 25 percent just so we could uh you know it'd be quicker for the tutorial but you know you really can't see from this uh size so i'm going to keep it at 50 i guess but um yeah that's you know that's how you get that going and pretty much you know everything else from there is almost the same as the other tutorial once you get your outline created 
uh, you know, with the blends and turning it to, into